probably already know that when I'm on vacation, I just love, love to learn the history of the area. So one of the places we stopped was the St. Simons Island Lighthouse, which was built in 1810. The original lighthouse was 75 feet tall and was octagonal, and then had a 10-foot oil-burning lamp on top. During the Civil War, the forces used it as a naval blockade on the coast. And you'll be able to see when we get up here why the lighthouse is so important off of St. Simons Island because you can see the shoals everywhere. Like if you look out as we pan around here, you'll be able to see that the shoals are um, really breaking very, very shallow and would be very treacherous for a boat coming in. So, in 1862, the Union troops came in and the Confederate soldiers actually had to abandon the area, so they actually destroyed the original lighthouse. Then, the government came in and constructed a new lighthouse in 1872. This lighthouse is very cool because the light inside of it was really special for its time. It was designed by a Frenchman and it has a lens in there that it still is operational today. It projects four beams of light and flashes every 60 seconds. But in 1934, electricity replaced the kerosene. It takes 129 steps to get to the top, and then once you reach it, you have these beautiful views. Hike the 129 steps to the top of the lighthouse, you're rewarded with this amazing view of the coastline and the downtown area. It's a 360 around the top of the lighthouse. You can see the shoals out there. And I think about what it must have been like to be the house, the light keeper there, and to have to light that every night and make sure it was going so that the ships didn't hit the shore. Mm -hmm.